strengthen my lower back, how do I do it? Here's three ways, and in all honesty, do all three of them. Do, in, in, do them, you know, one, two, three, and repeat it two or three times through. If you can implement this very quick routine once or twice a week into what you're currently doing, my, my thought is, is that you will start to feel the difference when performing other lifts and you, your body will feel better at rest. So it might start to alleviate some of the back discomfort that you have. I know that's a hot topic. We have a, a really amazing product coming up in the near future on targeting back pain. And so these are three exercises that when done properly with a stability ball can do so much to fire your erectors, to get your glutes and your hamstring, to get that whole posterior chain really uh, engaged and to uh, develop those muscles a little bit more so that when you start doing your deadlifting and your squats and some of those more crucial lifts, you're gonna feel better. So let's get going. First, in a prone position, you wanna sit that stability ball right on the center of your body between your belly button and your chest. Strong plank position. Arms in a Y, and then a T, and then an I, okay? So you're making letters with your arms. Notice my head is neutral. I'm gonna hold each position for 10 seconds. stay tight through your whole body, it makes breathing a little bit more challenging, but that's good. It makes you really breathe with your diaphragm while keeping your abs tight. stability ball, the lower than the calf, the, the, the gastrocnemius, lower than your calf, you know, the big calf muscle uh, between there and your, and your ankle. Okay, that's where you want the ball. You could push the ball out a little further, make it a little bit more challenging. Palms are up, and then squeeze the glutes and raise the hips. Body in a straight line. Squeeze it. Hold it, five to 10 seconds, and relax. Repeat that as many reps as you want. I'll do three. Again, five to 10 seconds, if you want to hold it for longer, 15 or 20, that's absolutely fine. Squeeze the glutes. out here create a little bit of a, of a, a helping lever, but if you want, you can even just go right here with just the elbows on the ground. Makes the balancing a little bit more challenging, but very effective, okay? So you got the prone YTI, the supine bridge, and then finish with reverse hyperextension. What you want to do is put your stability ball up on top of a platform. It's hard, it's hard to find a very large stability ball that's big enough or high enough 
to really get the, the, the positioning. So the, the best thing to do is get a board, put some risers under it, okay? And then set the ball up on top of it. You want your body in an inverted V shape. So my hips are at the top. Supporting myself with my hands, I squeeze my glutes and raise my legs.